Hi, it's Jane with Scraptastic Yarns Podcast, and today is April the 9th, Tuesday. This is the normal podcast. You may have noticed that the title of this was My Man Can't See the Boxes. I'm going to insert a little footage here of the boxes I'm speaking of. That's a pretty good sized box with that bright box on top of it. When he came home, now granted, the man does come home, comes in the back door. However, when he got the mail, he's in the front of the apartment. The young boy that lives not next to us, but the very next apartment next to us, was out with his soccer ball, getting ready to go to soccer ball practice. So Thomas kicked the soccer ball in the front yards, past the box. Never saw the box. The man's a trained scientist trained scientist he's trained to be observant I can tell you one of these trips we were on our way out to Lycoming Mall on 220 he glances over and we're doing 65 miles an hour he says did you see that spot I think that's where the Marcellus shell starts Okay. No, I don't see anything. He says, do you mind if on the way back I stop and get a sample? Now, I'm used to this. He's a geologist. He sees an outcrop. He wants to stop. He wants to get samples. He wants to climb up it, down it, whatever. No big deal. We stop. The spot he saw going 65 miles an hour was about that big. That big, people. And yes, it was the start of the Marcellus Shale. He did discover that. He gave that research to the oil companies. He got paid a nice lump sum. But he can't see those boxes. Oh, man. <laughs> I did get my nick crate, so we're going to open that up. I did undo the tape. I have already done my um, yarn swap with Wanda video, <laughs> and I think I got the better end of the deal, <laughs> because I got lots of goodies, and I can't wait. I can't wait to break into those, so... And my husband, he came home for lunch. He said, do you want to go out for lunch? Of course I do. He looks. I'm bringing the basket in. He goes, oh, Pringles! Yeah. Man loves Pringles. Okay. Anyway, let's get to the unboxing. What'd I get? Oh, I got the red. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Let's get this out. Let's do the usual routine. And let's look at the yarn. This is Knit Crate's Audine Wool Sci DK, and the colorway is Ladybug. It's 85% merino wool, 15% cashmere. It is a DK weight. You get 302 yards, 100 grams. Um, it is hand wash only, lay flat to air dry. Look at that. It's coming out orange, but it's really a red. It's a lipstick red. That's what I would call it, lipstick red, but it is gorgeous. And, of course, you get two of those. And then you get the booklet nice lovely booklet 
and um, I noticed Summer had put a question out there. I guess Summer didn't get a booklet. That's okay. She'll get it. Um, either that or they'll send her a link to download. That is what it was based on, etymology. And those are the two colorways that you could get. The blue, the bluish greenish. Um, um, based on the tobacco horn room, worm. And I'm going to say this, the tobacco horn worm, depending on which Ooh, which part of the country you are can be a bluish in color or it can be a really bright lime green like this um, where we were at North Carolina ours were green and black but they're they're big they are big worms and they go after tobacco they go after tomato plants and uh, those didn't bother me as as much as the big spiders. I hate it when we were doing tobacco. This is the pattern for the crochet. It is called chrysalisis. And um, it says it's a little sh slip of a stole. That's tongue-tied. Um, you're going to need two skeins for that. And they did it in the leaf eater. The, and of course it has tassels. I'm not a big tassel fringe person. Oh, but look at the knit. The knit is called canopy. That is a very nice pattern. Lots of garter stitch. That's my favorite uh, knit stitch. I hate to burl. What can I say? Just hate to burl. And then of course they had the sock yarns that they are getting. And you do get this pattern. Um, you know, I have to wear those lovely um, compression socks, so I don't make uh, socks anymore. But it's nice to have the sock pattern in case you want to uh, do that uh, sock for somebody else in your life. This is their pop-up shop. And that is a beautiful color of yarn. It is Blush Fiber Company. And um, they're calling it Leaf Hopper, which is a soft teal green. But it's beautiful. That's a beautiful color. So, and then of course, next month is the Farmer's Market. That should be interesting. I'm hoping that they do a little bit of the uh, pretty purples but it's always a surprise you never know what you're gonna get now in those boxes there are times we wonder what the UPS you know the mail people are thinking I had ordered my knit picks those needles I needed um, to work on the little baby sweater I'm making. I had ordered those on uh, the 29th of March. They came yesterday. But what I thought was rather interesting is the route that they took. Nitpix is located in Columbus, Ohio. Which is about a four and a half hour drive for me if we had chosen to drive up there pick them up and then four and a half to get home. They went from Columbus to Kentucky, then to Maryland, then to Harrisburg, and finally to Lock Haven. There's got to be a more direct route. That's probably why shipping has gone up so high, is because they're doing all these crazy take here, take there, you know, I mean, you go from here, shoot down, then go that way, and then that way, and then back up. Makes no sense to me. I did stop at the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to show you those little acquisitions. They had the magnets in today with the little llama. 
and uh, be brave. A butterfly, and then it. The green one says, "Go for it." I did pick those up, but I did have another note. <laughs> Kitties. How cute is that? I love these animals with this the sunglasses. They just crack me up. But they also had little bag Mighty Mouse. Mighty Mouse, when I was a baby, was one of my favorite cartoon characters. My dad used to tell me I was probably about 18 months old and Mighty Mouse, I called out to Mighty Mouse many times. He said they would lay me down to change my diaper. And I would say, Mighty Mouse, Mighty Mouse, help me, help me. So this little bag has a special place in my heart. Just because of that. Now, I am going to tell you I received a very generous gift in the mail. It was totally unexpected. And um, I'm going to show it to you now. It came from Laura of Yarn Closet, the Yarn Closet, in Tucson, Arizona. When I opened up that bag, there was this nice bag. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And this is a bag that is done by thimbleandthreadmake.etsy.com bag would have been plenty but inside the bag was this lovely note and this is you know I didn't enter in her giveaway at least I don't remember entering in it but she said thank you for the shout out here's one of my prizes the tube of yarn can be pulled apart and wound into a ball I hope you enjoy. Laura. Now, how generous is this community? But I'm going to show you a couple of the other things first. It says the yarn closet. Thank you for participating. She has a website, yarncloset.com. And then she has these little note cards that come out and it's designed so that you can take notes put it in your project bag but I love this saying that she has she always ends her podcast with look with your heart first not your eyes I love that it's just a beautiful sentiment now she does have a patreon who um, uh, a someone who uh, does her shipping supports her those kind of things but and that person is Crowley Bear Soap of Tucson Arizona or Meyer Arizona I am going to put the link for Laura and the link for this company she also included a mini magnet this is credit card size um, I have always carried one of those in my pocket, in my purse, because doing home health, I had a lot of patients who couldn't see things to sign, so I would use this to help them. But included in that was this nice jar of bare foot cream with tea tree, peppermint, and lavender essential oils. I was showing one of my friends this, this whole gift yesterday. She goes, your feet are going to love you. Why, yes, they are. Thank you. So thank you, Bear Company. Uh, Bear. Yep. And then also, inside of that, was this lovely sock tube. 
this is one of the little stitch markers that she hands out. It says homemade with love. Or actually it just says homemade. It has a little heart. So we know that's for love. But she also included one of the braille stitch markers. And I find this interesting. You know, because you have the little dot here that tells you that's the beginning of the word. And then you have the word there in the braille. But sock tubes or hat tubes can be taken apart and used the way that you do sock blanks. Um, this is Hawthorne fingering in the Goddess Kettle Die. And uh, it is a fingering weight. I don't see a color. But it is 80% super wash fine highland wool, 20% polyamide. It is 357 yards, 100 grams. It is fingering weight. It is to machine wash gentle, tumble dry low. Well, I wouldn't do that anyway with this. But I have several skeins of some fingering weight sock weight yarns that I have been looking for a certain color to add to it. Um, I do have some lace weight. It's like a black iridescent black that I'd purchased years ago and I'm going to hold those two together for this shawl that I have in mind. But I've been looking for a purple and this fits the bill. I am a true believer that God puts people in your life, puts things that you're looking for, whatever it is, once you put it out there in the universe. So Laura, this is perfect. This is going to go with what I have in pictured in my head of a shawl that I want to do. So thank you. Thank you so much for this. This, this is this was totally unexpected and I'm I'm very grateful for it. Thank you. Um, now we'll talk about the uh, boo-boo on my arm. You know I have a neighbor who has a dog. He is a pit bull and he is still a young puppy. He's coming up on his first year birthday. He has been through obedience training but generally I see him every day so he's not super excited well today I haven't seen him in about four or five days so today he was super excited he did jump up on me and one of his toenails caught me you know I'm always talking about choosing kindness um, and the girl she was she was just worried to death you know we're a Sioux happy country and uh, she was worried about it. I said to her, Jill, just don't worry about it. I said, first of all, I'm a trained professional. I'm a registered nurse. I know how to take care of a wound. I'll go home. I'll wash it really well. Um, I'm going to put some antibiotic cream on it. I'm already on an antibiotic for some other things. I'm on some anti-inflammatories for the elbow. It's going to be fine. Don't worry about it. It's just a little boo-boo. I'm okay with it. But she was so concerned. And I'm like, there's no reason to be concerned. Don't. I know Buddy was super excited. I was not watching him as closely as I normally would have. Um, because I know when it, get ex when it gets excited, he's still got that puppy and he still wants to jump on you. I know that. It's okay. So, I just thought I'd tell you that in case you happen to see the boo-boo. I did get my um, Jada in Stitches blanket finished. I did get, I am working on a baby sweater that I'm knitting. And this is the one that I had to, there's those needles I was needing. This was, um, you know it's from the neck down and I'm ready to start divide 
and uh, this is one that I had to rip back all the way here because I forgot to do this nice little border you know get a little excited move on those kind of things I think that is it for today um, I do have a couple of things I've been working on upstairs um, through the exercises with the physical therapy um, I can now put a little bit of weight so I'm able to cut um, probably about maybe two or three layers um, without too much pain so I'm upstairs cutting um, my husband did help me last night with putting things away uh, the other thing is I need to get film finished filming and also finished inventorying now that I have new yarn <laughs> the uh, items for the show your stash share your stash show it whatever you want to call so I do need to get that done but um, apparently this week there has been a lot of meanness on the internet and you know one of the things I always stress is to choose kindness I had asked my husband you know when I saw the the thing with uh, Crystal from Bag of Day I'd asked him he he's friends with uh, Brian and Chris who do the uh, I think it's work the game or work in the game something like that podcast I'd asked you know how do they deal with the trolls you know they come along and uh, my husband and laughed and said well Chris gets a little more upset than Brian does it bothers Brian but you know he kind of just blows it off um, Thomas said that you know a lot of us gamers that do watch when we comment we uh, we have an avenue where we can deal with it we'll call that troll out challenge them in the game you know to take us on and generally that person doesn't show up doesn't comment anymore those kind of things he said I don't know how you in the yarn community can handle that and I said you know I'm not real sure other than what Crystal said was to just start blocking people and you know if we're choosing kindness we're looking at it like this we're all in this together there's no reason to be ugly um, you know if you don't agree with that person's personal or political stance or whatever they're standing up for move on you know there's no reason to be ugly and comment something ugly um, I've had a couple of comments that have been really ugly um, I chose not to block the person but I have answered or as or as Summer said, I got a little sassy with them. Well, Summer's sassy is real nice and kind sassy. Mine's not so kind because I can get real sassy. I raised three boys. I can get sassy. So, but, um, you know, there's no reason for that. Let's lift each other up. Choose to be kind. We're all in this together, folks. We are. We're all in this together. There's no reason for that. So let's just lift each other up. Let's be happy if someone wins a giveaway. You know, whatever. Take care of each other. That's how we're going to get through this. So, anyway. I'll see you again tomorrow with the VEDA. Um, I have been doing my walking. Although yesterday I had a little issue because... I have a butt cheek that's choosing to be a bit of a pain in the hmm. Um, you know, I do have chronic low magnesium levels. So yesterday I had a butt cheek that I was having lots of cramps in. And of course today it's sore, so it doesn't want to move around. <laughs> but yeah, you just plow right through that. We can get this done. So uh, I will see you again tomorrow. Everybody, you know the drill.
choose to be kind.